Sometimes within Terraform, you need to check something that is outside the normal life cycle of Terraform. So you can have validations and things like that on your variables, but what if you literally just want to check something like the status of a port? For instance, with this deployment, I've got port 3000 open for Grafana, which is an application for charting and graphs. And I wanna make sure whenever I do drift detection or whenever I run my apply for the first time that this port does become available. Now there are a ton of ways to do this. You could of course code a curl action or something like that. But if we can do it all within Terraform, we might as well. So you can see here the checks block, which is a fairly new feature as of Terraform 1.5. It's pretty straightforward. Basically we're running a check and asserting a certain condition. In this case, they're checking terraform.io has a response code or status code of 200. And to do this, they're using the HTTP data source. So we can do essentially the same thing to check port 3000, but we're gonna have to do a couple more things to make sure that it does make contact and has time for this instance to apply. So I'll head back and I'm going to start with the check block and we'll just call that a Grafana health check just in case you want to do other health checks and then we we'll use that data source data http and i'll just say test all right open and close that and we're going to pass in the url now the url in this case is going to reference our aws instance public ip so that'll be http and then we'll use our interpolation syntax here aws instance dot grafana server dot public underscore ip colon 3000 just like that now if we're deploying this this is obviously going to take a little time to deploy now this is a new feature so it's actually going to show up as red for me which i don't really like but that's okay all right anyway so whenever we run this it'll take at least a few minutes usually for this instance to come up for and for Grafana to come up. As you can see here in the user data, we've got a lot of stuff being installed, which does take a little bit of time. So what we can do is add a retry block under here, retry, and just pass in attempts equals five. So that should be plenty of time. You can also set minimum and maximum duration between these attempts. But in this case, five has worked for me on most of my deployments. But of course, you can also manually code in a break and run this separately, whatever you need to do. But this is the simplest way to get things done. So now we need to add the assert block condition equals data dot http dot test dot status underscore code equals 200 and if you're curious about that http data source you can see it here the http data source within the http provider so if you have tf lint running you do you need to make sure you add that we've got our example usage it basically just runs a curl against the url all right so we'll head back over to this and provide an error message now equals and we'll just say Grafana is inaccessible on port 3000 that works all right that's great I'm going to head to my providers.tf here and just add that provider that HTTP equals source equals and that's also HashiCorp slash HTTP version equals, let's go take a look at what that version is right now. We got 3.4.5. Of course, if yours is later, I don't think they're going to make any big changes to this anytime soon. So that's perfectly fine. All right, great. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and send this to our repository and I just have a workflow dispatch set up for my deployment. 
So I will do that. TFLint will probably fail on something else, but we'll make sure that the plan is working. Format didn't work, which is actually fine. I'll go ahead and fix that real quick. This is where a pre-commit hook would have been great. All right, that is done now. So let me go ahead and add that. All right, perfect. So that should be fine. All right, the plan worked out. Warning check block assertion known after apply. So that's perfectly fine. Obviously there is no instance to check yet, so it's going to wait until it's been applied. So let's go ahead and apply that. So I'll go back to my actions and I've got a workflow step here to apply it. Run workflow and we'll see how this looks. All right, so unfortunately, it looks like five tries still wasn't enough. As you can see, it's giving up after six attempts. So the retries, of course, or attempts that you specify are on top of the initial attempt. So what we can do here is just run and apply again, or you can run a plan again. It really doesn't matter what you do. As long as the plan gets run, then you are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and rerun this. And hopefully the instance has had enough time this time to work. All right, that worked out better. As you can see, we have all of this junk here. As I said, it's basically a curl. We've got the response body, the ID, everything like that. So you may want to set up an output just to show the output of this instead of everything. But as you can see, everything, status code is 200. Everything worked well. So that's all for this little lesson on check blocks. Thanks for watching.